Well, hello, smoking fans. And I just want to introduce you to my trash can cold smoke generator. Now, this is something that someone asked for on the comments section. So it's always worth putting a comment in there. You never know, I might get around to filming a video on your particular comment. But don't forget, stick around to the end because I will show you how this looked in the morning after a full night. Now, this is one that was presented to me the other day, so I thought I'd do a quick video on it. So it's not very long, but we're gonna get into it. So for this particular smoke generator, I use a large sieve and I've pushed the middle up here so as to create a channel around the outside, but it does have a couple of these lugs on the outside which I need to remove and the reason I need to do that is because you can see it prevents me from putting the lid on properly and seating the lid so it seats over the sieve so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this into my workshop and I'm going to use a disc cutter to get rid of these now you can see here I've done that and I've also attached some nickel wire to the top of the sieve so that I can actually pick this up when it's hot. Onto that I'm going to put some very fine chip. Now this isn't dust, dust would work equally well, but chip burns a little hotter and um, I like using it because I've got lots of it basically. So it's always nice and uh, I get it spread out across and I'm making a gap and that's really important because when we come to light this you'll see exactly what I mean by that. So I'm going to create this gap here and you can see that gap there if I didn't create that gap and just lit it it would burn in both directions and I don't want that to happen so I'm getting a real good bullseye going here and uh, I'm gonna get in there and give it a quick blow just to get that really really hot and going and that's what you want to try and do here you want to get that real kind of bullseye going you can see lots and lots of smoke here but a bit of flame so we just blow that out and on goes the lid and you can see that we've got smoke coming out through the top on goes the pipe and this will be the pipe that I'm going to be transmitting the smoke into the cold smoker with and here's my final setup with the smoker lit and the pipe into the base of my original cold smoker and you can see the smoke coming up through the smoke spreader there if you want plans for a smoker I do sell these on my website I'll leave a link in the description to that now when this smoke does come out it's actually quite warm and the pipe acts as a really good means of conducting that heat away to atmosphere and the closer you get to the smoker the cooler the smoke is and the beautiful thing about this particular pipe is you can extend it to make the journey for the smoke a lot longer so that it can actually cool a bit more if it's still coming through quite warm and my smoker's got a little vent well it's got vents all over it really because it's quite old it moves and smoke can creep out through the gaps in it and that allows the convection to take place and that sort of draw to set up from the smoke generator into the smoker and there we are that is how i set it up and here's the next morning so here we are the morning after and it's done its thing so let's take it apart and have a look see how this has performed let's take the lid off this Okay, so we can see that all that smoke residue has been left on the inside there, looking lovely. And we have a complete burn. Now, this goes for around about six to seven hours. Now, once it started burning around here, once it gets to about here, all this area here is cool. If you wanted a longer smoke, you could disassemble this and actually pour more chips in this region here but not coming up to where the burn is still taking place and that will allow it then to continue round continue round and you'll get a completely sort of longer burn you'll get an extra extra portion of burn well that is the cold smoke generator we can take this out empty it now if you don't have 
a sieve that fits perfectly but it sits in the base so it's slightly smaller than this that's okay all you need is uh, some wire around here to retrieve it and what I would suggest is that you put a couple of stones in the base so that the sieve can actually sit on it that will lift it off the ground and allow air circulation if you look here it's got some holes around the outside now this is full of holes around the outside but actually in reality I think you'd only really need a few if you look also in the base it does have a few holes as well but not many you just need a few holes around the uh, outside and that is your trash can cold smoke generator. Well, just to let you know that I bought my incinerator from a local hardware store to me, but I know that these are available in some builders, merchants, garden centers, and other Home Depot style stores. Well, I hope you found that interesting. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you like the video, please give us a big thumbs up. It helps it get out to far more people. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next smoky video. Take care folks. Bye bye.